So we've been following this Katie Couric, her memoir. Is it, is it called Brew the Love? It's not called Brew the Love. It's... <laughs> uh, no, it's... Uh, her memoir, it, people have been talking about it. It's caused huge news because people are saying it's brutally honest when it comes to her past colleagues. What's one unapologetic tidbit you're going to include in your memoir? Wow. <laughs> I, I guess that I, that I unapologetically, me personally, unapologetically uh, take snacks from uh, the field team room. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Who doesn't? I do. So my, my uh, dressing room key opens other dressing rooms. <laughs> and I actually check for snacks. Right. OK. <laughs> How would you possibly know that? <laughs> I've never in my life been holding a key thinking... <laughs> I wonder if it opens this door as well. <laughs> Whose dressing rooms are you going into? I think there's a master key for all the rooms the on the other that side. The that are down that way? Yes. But it's don't they one. use some of them for, like, the Talking Dead and stuff? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of some guest arriving at the Talking Dead, like, I swear I left a whole basket of goodies here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hagar's like, might want to change those logs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here, Luke? It's a The crew. Late Late Show Cruise 2022. <laughs> yeah, a little Christmas <laughs> ornament. I really want to do that cruise. I'm a, I want to design sets for it. So do I, Lou. I want to do it. I don't know what the vibe is here now. We got told we're not allowed to talk about it. There were some very angry phone calls. <laughs> and then it just went deathly quiet. What is the, what is the vibe on this, Nico? Still completely off the table. <laughs> uh, the, vi the vibe is... Uh... Truthfully, the ball is a little bit in our court right now. Oh. oh is, it? is it really? Wow. Is it genuine? Well, hang on, let's explain to anyone watching this. We talked for a while last year about the idea of taking the entire show on a cruise ship for a week, and then, and then it got real dicey. Like, people were angry about it. You know, your big, your grand fromage up top. <laughs> Sales. There was some real beef, and we thought we just got to stop talking about it. I wasn't intending to talk about it. Lou has placed a holiday ornament <laughs> on my, which I think I would be remiss not to talk about it, given it's a cruise ship that says the Late Late Show Cruise 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd have an absolute ball. <laughs> I, yeah. I'd only go if we could take everybody. That's my rule. That's my rule. <laughs> I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be some siphoned-off, sort of, scaled down. Look, I'm not even thinking about the show. I'm just thinking, let's all go on a cruise together. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Lou, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this... I'm going to take this with me to London and I'm going to place it on my Christmas tree as a constant reminder. I'm going to look at it as sort of one of Mindy Kaling's vision boards. <laughs> <laughs> And the only thing on the vision board is that. <laughs> you, know what, you know what you do? You, when you go to London over winter break, you hang it up and you say, I'm coming back for you. And then we come back on that ship and we come get it. Wow. I just got actual chills. I got actual chills. Look, cruise ship or no cruise ship, the only thing that matters right now is this show's commitment to give the people of America the thing that they desperately want need, desire, and that's the news. <laughs> Today, President Biden signed an executive order to improve the customer experience for accessing government services. Services like uh, claiming retirement benefits, renewing passports, and filing taxes. Good thing, too, because the United States government actually only has a one-star rating on Yelp. <laughs> The executive order identifies 36 customer experiences across 17 federal agencies that can be improved. The other thousands, totally flawless, unimprovable. <laughs>
Everything will be streamlined. Now when Biden has to have an important call with a world leader, they just get a menu that's like, for trade policy, press one. For climate change, <laughs> press two. And did everybody see this earlier today? Time magazine named their person of the year, and it's Elon Musk. Uh. Yeah, there he is there. Look, they're trying to remember if he left the oven on. Photo there, look at that cover. He looks like he's starring in a brand new Danish crime drama. <laughs> Elon Musk is Time Magazine's Person of the Year. In response to this, Jeff Bezos just bought Time Magazine. <laughs> According to the magazine, Person of the Year signifies someone who affected our lives the most for better or for worse. Which for us here would have to be Nick Bernstein. <laughs> <laughs> Has everybody seen the graffiti outside the studio? Have you seen this? Did you see this on your way in? Have we got a photo of it? Nick Bur I was right. Look at that. That is graffiti. <laughs> that's sick. To be clear, that's not inside Television City. That's out on the road on Beverly Boulevard. <laughs> and look, and it says, there is no junior vice president. <laughs> This is yeah. insane, Nick. Yeah. What's going on? Do you know who did this? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I did, uh, <laughs> uh, the, first of all, they prefer the term street art, not graffiti. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> because, and I know that only because I did a podcast with, uh, <laughs> with a couple of street artists. And this was, I think, <laughs> their gift to me. I love it. I actually love it. It's Beautiful. awesome. We're counterculture now. Yeah. Uh. What's, the, what's the podcast called, Rob? Do you know? What's it called? Didn't you do another one? It was all Oh, The about Rise yours. of Nick Bernstein? Yeah, wasn't it called The Rise of <laughs> Nick Bernstein? Well, that was... <laughs> that was on an uh, a Canadian independent radio station. How <laughs> a Canadian radio station yeah. had a show called The Rise of Nick Bernstein. <laughs> How have you got the time for all this? No wonder we're not on a cruise ship if you're like, ah, oh, I can't really jump on that Zoom. I've got to do the rise of Nick Bernstein <laughs> for Key 108.4 <laughs> in Vancouver. Uh, New Brunswick, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, speaking, uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced that she will stay in office through at least the midterm elections, extending her nearly 20-year run as the House's top Democrats. Yeah, because when you've got a winning streak going like the House Democrats, you've got to stick with a hot hand, baby. That's what you got to do. <laughs> this is nice. She wants to stick around to make sure it's a smooth transition as America goes from a democracy to whatever the hell comes next. <laughs> do you think you'll still be a comedian when you're in your 80s? Will you still be doing stand-up? If they have comedy clubs in hell, yeah, I'll do it still. <laughs> <laughs> People thought Pelosi might be leaving too soon, but she says she's going to stay around at least through 2022 and maybe longer. She's basically on the same schedule as COVID. <laughs> Moving on, Vladimir Putin has revealed that in the 90s, after the fall of the Soviet Union, he had to supplement his income by working as a taxi driver. Yeah. You're talking, you're talking to me? <laughs> I don't see anybody else around here. You must be talking to me. <laughs> I'd take a cab ride from Putin. Like, from a rider standpoint, he doesn't strike me as, like, someone who's overly chatty. <laughs> and I do hope this serves as inspiration to every Uber driver out there who's just doing it now until they get their big break as a megalomaniac dictator. <laughs> And finally, it was our duty to show you this. A store owner in the United Kingdom recently bought 1,000 Christmas sweaters to resell without noticing that the snowflake design features... Well, have a look for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so
That's like one. It is the only garment that shrinks in cold water. <laughs> they see, didn't... I mean, pull up the one without zooming in. <laughs> I think I can see how you miss it. But once you see it, you see it, don't you? That's the thing. Is, is it a bunch of judges' gavels? Yes, that's exactly what it is. A bunch of gavels from a courtroom. <laughs> Oh, I see it. I see it. It's a great Christmas sweater, you have to admit. It brings the North Pole right to you. <laughs> Solid. I mean, once you've got that sweater, an open fire isn't the only place you're going to find chestnuts. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. I got something inside myself, got a train to the world, yeah. If I put my words together, I mean, I can be quick, put my words, words together, back together, yeah.